Hello everybody, my name is Ghosty, and welcome back to episode 13 of Minecraft Fantasy. And we need to figure out what we're gonna do about this serpent situation, the serpent issue. Uh, so, yeah, really, Zelda, I just gotta, I just gotta brainstorm a little bit. So let's see here. Um, the serpents, they attack pretty much everything. They can jump really high in the air. Uh, their scales can be used to make armor, and their t and their teeth can be used to make a weapon. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. So I guess we need to figure out how they aren't going to how 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 to get them to not attack the village, but. Um, wait. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so they don't attack anything. So, sea serpents will attack anything smaller than them. Right, they don't attack anything smaller than them. But, the only thing smaller than them, the only thing bigger than them, is, uh... Well, I'm sure Zelda will know. Have you figured out what we're gonna do about the serpent issue? Yes, yeah, so I was brainstorming and serpents will attack anything smaller than them, but they won't attack anything bigger than them. And the only thing bigger than them is, is a dragon. Yeah, do you know where we could find a dragon? I, I don't know, maybe ask Cleo, the mayor of Ashmore? Alright, I will. I will. Quickly, please. Yep. I know, I want to get this over with as much as you do, so I guess then we are going to Ashmore. Look at Sandra, and we are here. We're here in Ashmore. So we just gotta talk to... I could have waystoned over. Oh, well, we might do that with Ravenbow. Oh well, I'm here now. Oh yes, we just need to talk to Cleo. Hello, Cleo. Oh, hello again. Come to ask some more Gorgon questions. Not really. I actually needed to... I, I wanted to know how to get a dragon skull. Uh, the, the biggest dragon skull that we can find. Because I really screwed up for Selkie. Um... So yeah, do you do you know any 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 place I could find one? A dragon skull one. Yep. Well, I've heard about a black market somewhere close by from a friend. Not sure where it is, but it's where he goes to get his magical ingredients sometimes. Maybe there. Right. So his name is James. He lives in Ravenbell, usually trailed by his two boys. He's an out, uh, a blacksmith. Right, not, not suspicious. But I think I know who you're talking about. He's the guy I talked to about, um, Cornelius. Thought I could help. Well, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alright, it's another errand to Ravenbell, I guess. Right. Wow. They, you know, they really changed up, uh, hmm. I thought Alexiaries was all about keeping the peace, but I guess... I guess she's still got a trained soldier, so I guess that still makes good sense. Oh, and the gardens are so much nicer. So much nicer. Huh, looks like Fuji Apple moved on. Right, right, so... Oh, that's new. Looks like this is Alexiaries' place. You know, some guards. Um, but yeah, the stand was here, but I guess they might have moved it over there. I guess it is more of a, more of a centralized place. Well, not, maybe not centralized, but you know, it's a, it's a bigger place than just a little platform that was here. And what is... Okay, so this path is still a bit janky, but you know. Yeah, they've got a well, they built, built a whole wall. 
She's alright. Oh, we got a little bit of stable too. Hello. That horsey leads, you know. Um, okay, but yes, uh, blacksmith James. James the blacksmith. James? Hello, it is, it is James, right? Hello again. Hello again? Yes, um, so I was just, I just talked to Cleo, and she told me that you could, uh, tell me where the black market was. Lower your voice, stupid girl. Follow me. Sorry, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well. All right. Fancy setup. <laughs> so the black market. Yes, I was wondering. I, I I really need a dragon skull for um something that I did. Well, it's a dangerous place for a fragile thing like you. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I will have you know that I have, I have, and I tamed a dragon. She's almost fully grown. She's well. She's more more like a teenager, but still, I raised her. I did everything for her. You cannot call me fragile. Like, come on. Oh yeah, how'd you get her? She was she was a gift. How hard was raising her? Not. She she got in my face a lot. My point exactly. Hmm. But I really need to, I, I, I really, I really need a dragon skull. Okay, I, I screwed up. I, something I did made serpents more likely to attack, uh, the sea villages like Selkie and Undyne. And I just, I need to fix it. I, I can sympathize with that. Tell you what. If you can get me a rare ingredient, I'll tell you how to find the black market. Oh, fantastic. What is it? They call it Weezer. Or, I suppose it named itself. Anyway, it can only be found in underground dragon caves. Right, sounds dangerous, but I've got this. Wait, you're not actually going to try it, right? No, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, no. Okay, well, we know what we're doing next episode. So, I know this was a bit of a shorter, I know this was a bit of a shorter episode, but now we know what we need to what, how we can find a dragon skull. We just need to get to the black market. And to get to the black market. We need this Weezer thing. <laughs> so. Anyway. This has been episode 13 of Minecraft Fantasy. Sorry for the shortness. And just the mostly talkiness. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I can't believe I'm canonizing Weezer.